These are two giant fish traps, and these are two creepy looking tide pools. And today we're gonna be doing a 1v1 tide pool fish trap for 24 hours to see which tide pool has the better fish. Every time the tide rises and falls, it leaves a ton of fish trapped inside these tide pools. In the past, we've caught insane stuff here. Blue parrot fish, moray eels, giant horseshoe crabs, stingrays, giant barracudas, small barracudas, anything you can think of, we've caught it right here. So our goal is to trap all the fish inside these tide pools and release them back into the wild. So let's see what we can catch today and which tide pool is better for a 24 hour fish trap. It's a big trap day, ladies and gentlemen. Huge. I'm talking two jumbo mumbos. Trap number one, it's not in the sturdiest conditions. I'm, I'm talking sink or swim, y'all. Yeah. I'm talking swing or swim. Sink or swim, but it's also a big day in regards to the hoodie that we just dropped. Sink or swim, great white hoodie. It's absolutely gas. We got the new front logo for the fish guys. Uh, I already spilled some water on it, so that'll come out. We got the new front logo for the fish guy with fish guy and the great white silhouette. And then the back is, oh, it's gorgeous. We got the highly detailed great white shark absolutely sick you guys have been asking for a great white shark shirt it's finally here and it's on a hoodie absolute gas hoodie season's in full swing get your hoodie for this holiday season and we're gonna ship them out asap so you get it for christmas okay I, am i cutting all this off oh my god dude, dude I, I think we cut this off it's i so, built that trap. it's so it's so brittle i built this trap dude look at how i mean look at that dude a fish is gonna go right through it i'm oh cutting it off oh my god look at all these Who's calling me? Brittany. what is Brittany? She wants you to trim that freaking mustache off your face. She's got a caterpillar growing on you and it doesn't look good. Hello? It's time. No, this is this oh is my God, probably you're... one of the worst fish routes I've Dude, ever this, seen. Dude, this was for needlefish, bro. That's that why work? I had the hole at the top so the needlefish could swim in. Oh, nice. It did work. Are I you okay with me doing this? I, I mean, know. yeah, I don't I didn't care. really ask for permission. I kind of just started. This is our second trap. You guys know we were doing, we dropped that uh, 24 hour fish trap at the creepy tide pool spot. Absolutely crushed it. Caught a, ble a BP, blue parrot, very rare. BP. We are going, we're going double header because you guys have been asking about the other side of the of the tide pool. There's two tide pools underneath the bridge, but we usually only drop it in the one. So this time we're doing a 24 hour fish trap, 1v1 trap challenge, baby. We're dropping one fish trap in each of the tide pools and we're gonna see which one catches the best fish. Drop your predictions down in the comments. The right side, which we usually drop, or the left side, could it have like a, a super rare, crazy looking fish? Leucistic beta. We've yet to know, we will find out very soon. And this is one of the traps that we're gonna be dropping for 24 hours. It's a cube trap. I like it, honestly. Don't sleep on the cubes. What, no, that one's no. a rectangle? Yeah. I wouldn't sleep on the cube. No, the cube is a little bit more inviting. Okay, I think I'm done. That's a cube, bro, if I've ever seen. Now we're gonna go in with this. Three this foot by five foot. This is the new mesh we got. This protects your it's home rubber. garden, bro, and young trees from rodents and small animals. Yeah, it's a rubber. It's rubber. That's good stuff. Crack that open. Let's see how, let's see how it looks. Chris. No. Oh, holy cow, this, that was this nice. This knife, ew, it's beautiful. What's the I strat like here, dude? I don't know, you tell me. I think the strat is just the easiest way possible, bro. I mean, wrap and go. Lay down flat, lay down flat. Trust me, trust me. It's flat. Lay down flat, watch this, watch this. Perfect, right in the middle, now wrap that up. God, Hold on, I'm getting a call from my wife. Wow, that's weird to hear. I know, let me answer this, it's important. My wife. Hello? The wife calls you. Como estas? Bien, y tú? Can you fit inside this? All right, so technically we can get a fish, a jack size With a mustache. There. With a mustache. If we catch a fish with a mustache, I'll shave my mustache. Okay, that sounds like a fair, fair deal. Fair deal. Ready? Three. Get it, boy! Get it! Oh, I debated fast. him. They debated him. It's like a kingfish. It's a kingfish. Missed the gog. Yep. It happens. All right, what are we doing here? I don't know, dude. I don't know either, man. Zip that, Let's bro. Try this. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this zip. You're not gonna zip it around the around the pipe? No, because I need it to. I need. I need them to zip together to be tight. Okay. Where am I gonna cut here? Let me show you. Thank you, bro. Let me, let me do. Do something. do something for once in your Move life. Zip Why do you just throw the zip ties everywhere? On top of the workspace. I mean, it's so annoying, bro. <sighs> Will you hurry watch, up? Watch. We're gonna make a small incision here. We're gonna cut all the way across. It's a small incision, not a the large wife. one. The wife. She's calling me. The wife's here. She's You're in a very bad trouble. mood. You know why? Because none of the, we're trying to pack orders. We have about 500 orders to pack, and the printers aren't working. We have two printers in this house. They're both not working. She's so upset. She Watch out. Drive, here comes the wife. She had to drive to Office Depot to print the shit out. Done, done. Hang on. The great white. It's dope. No, yeah. That was just the... The hoodie turned out sick. How sick is that hoodie, Brooke? That's really nice. Are you wearing like a double XL? XL. XL. I, I like them extra big. I'm, wear, I'm wearing an XL because I like my hoodies extra big. I like to game. I'm a gamer. You put it on at night. Oh, you crank the AC to 69 degrees. It's not too degrees. big. It looks perfect. 
I love him. I love him extra big. That's just my style. You guys do as you may. Whatever. If you want to look like baby Huey and get an extra small size, go ahead. I'm not. I like extra big. Because then I can do this. It's a dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic Chris <laughs> yeah. move. It's the, only one, it's the only one I know, bro. Jack, you know, you didn't zip tie this to the to the posts. So. I know! We got one side done. It looks fantastic. Blue is supervising and helping us with the uh, the mesh there. But we have a little bit more to go. Next Halloween, I'm gonna be a fish trap. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. It's actually not a bad costume. Jack and a, and a fish trap. This is a good looking fish trap. Like not, not capping either, Jack. No furts. No furts, no CO2. This is a really nice Looking, looking trap. Trap. Very sturdy. Thank you. And nothing's getting out of this unless we uh, hmm. pull it up wrong or something. The trap is finito. It is an absolute gas cube trap. And now it's cleanup time. So we're cleaning like up and looking. we're gonna go right to the, it's perfect timing. It is low tide right now as we speak. And we're gonna drop this trap right now and then we're gonna have to wait uh, 24 hours. Oh, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. I let's am go. fluent. All right, let's go. We're gonna keep this up. I am fluent in we're, we're going right to the spot. We are dropping these fish traps for 24 hours. See who's gonna win. Dragon ass, bro. We're dragging fish trap ass. Already, bro. No, this is, an, this is not a necessary piece. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, it's that whole It side. is a necessary piece. <laughs> really good job zip tying it. That just shows uh, how big of a brain jack I'm gonna have to, I ran out of zip ties. I'm gonna have to fishing line it. I'm an engineer. I was in school to be an engineer, bro. Hold on. See this leaf right here? This little leaf? That is in Jack's skull, the, or the brain, or head. Dude, I lost, I the put- The rest all, is skull. I used all my brain cells in engineer school. Top, top classmate. Top of engineering, bro. <laughs> I decided to pursue my fish trap career. Okay, good. <laughs> we have made it to the spot. We have both of our traps here. That's one tide pool. This is one tide pool. So this spot, as you guys know, has a ton of fish, blue pair of fish. We caught tons of puffers here, stingrays, a giant horseshoe crab. We've caught millions of different stuff here. And we love doing these fish trap videos. And we're doing two for one special. One here and one over there. So two different fish traps in both the tide pools. That's absolutely epic. Super shallow water right here. This is completely filled with water during high tide and all, all the way to back there. It is time to bait our fish traps. We're gonna use nothing else other than some good old Publix extra large shrimp, deveined. Very important, very important. We're gonna treat this fairly. Everyone's gonna get the same amount of bait. So let's go ahead. Holy cow, those are cold, there's rocks, there's two. It's good, let four. them defrost in there, bro. Let them defrost. Beautiful. Beautiful bait. We got uh, Rick over there. No, that's Billy. Billy? Billy. He's over there. He wants a piece of shrimp. Billy. We're not going to give it to Steve's him. Steve's over here usually. All right, we got Now this bits. is the new trap. We got the square and the rectangle. We're going to bait both of them up. Drop them both, leave them for 24 hours. Something better be in there. All right, trap number two. Give it some shrimp. One last little one. Perfect. Remember, always dispose of your trash, people. The ocean is not your trash can. We've got our traps baited up. Now it is time to set them and leave them for 24 hours. So we'll be back here tomorrow. Hopefully it's a sunny day, baby. And hopefully we got fish inside. Both of them. That's what I'd like to see. Both with fish. Let's set these things. The bridge just came down. Good thing our trap, were, well, we weren't standing right there. We got knocked into the freaking tide pool. The bridges are lowered. I think we can throw them in now. Look, they're coming up. Let's get them set, Jack. Ooh, that's looking like a good fish trap. I got my money on this one. Really? Got my money on this one. Well, this is our bread and butter. This, this is, is our bread and butter. This trap never fails us, nor does this tide pool. So here we go. Let's get her inside and then tie her off. Yeah. Perfect. You gotta Wake let her sink. Up. You gotta, gotta, rock you gotta put like two, two rocks. We might need a third. Well, once those pipes fill up, they'll yeah, sink right go. to the bottom. It's gonna sink. So that is slowly gonna fill with water. All those pipes are gonna fill with water. We have two rocks in there that are slowly weighing it down, which is good. We're gonna tie it off, and then we're gonna throw our next trap. And we got two fish traps set, 24 hours. We got two rocks in this one. It's smaller, so it should sink faster. I ain't going in the water. Fish trap number two. This one, it's got sunlight on it, so I don't like it. Here I know, go. the fish like the shade. Ah! Beautiful. Look at that Come right on, there. Come on, puppy Phil. That'll fill up real nice, especially with those rocks in there. Sink to there the bottom. There she goes, she's bubbling. So we got two traps in here. We got the smaller square one and we got the rectangle one. One be one on the tide pools. Which trap's gonna be better? Which tide pool's gonna be better? We shall find out. But I'm just happy we got both our traps set and we're good to go. Now we just gotta wait 24 hours.
Now in honor of it being almost Christmas, we are gonna be running a giveaway for the next week. We're gonna be giving away this GoPro right here, the GoPro Hero 11. All you guys gotta do to enter is to click the link down below, put your email and phone number in there and be a subscriber to the channel with your notification bell on. That's all you gotta do to enter. And if you have ordered something off shopfishguy.com already, you're already entered into the giveaway. So if you haven't ordered anything already, go down, put your email and phone number in there. And that's it, you're entered in to win this GoPro right here. We are back the next day, 24 hours later. It is so windy and even more cold. I just went to the gym and my nipples are so hard because I'm freezing. So uh, the next day, it's even more cold and more windy. I'm freaking so cold, bro. But our traps are there. Although our traps are there, we can jump in, we can grab these guys and see what they caught. But I'm freezing and obviously, I got the whips on. Socks engaged. I go socks and sandals or socks on the beach. I don't care. I'm comfortable. Which one should we pull first though? Because we have two traps. We have one here and one there. Not sure which one we we'll go with first. The, the OG? The OG. Could whip the old OG first. I think we whip the OG first. Look how low this tide is this time though, guys. It is literally dry right here. All the way up into the, I've never seen it this low. We almost even have like a mini tide pool right here, which actually could have some baby puffer fish in. Good place for them to hide. Not really though, because Billy the bird Eat them all. He will get them. And it's freezing. I'm literally a frozen man. We got this puppy untied right here. We're ready to see what's inside. I can already see off first glance, our trap is a bit vert, vert now. Because vert. you have to remember that the water comes back up and a bunch of water starts to flow inside there, which then leads to some current. So it can float around and get, uh, what do you call it? Vertical. Vertical, thank you, tossed around. I'm freezing. It is actually so cold here. Good thing I have my fish guy sink or swim hoodie, fire. I should have worn that. As fire as you can get right here. I only didn't wear my fish guy stuff because I just came from the gym, guys, you know. Trying to get Jack there. He's a corn stock, as we <sighs> call him. But I think it's stuck. Dude. New Year's resi. We're stuck on all these oysters. Are we? <sighs> what do you want me to do, man? Take this and run. Take this and pull Take back? Take it and run, run. Easy bridge, Fisher. Easy bridge, Fisher. Get it up. Get it up. Pull. Get it up. Pull. Get it up. Get it up. Pull. Get it up. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. We got fish. We got fish, dude. We got him freaking good. Let's go. Let's Eel. go, bro. Holy crap. Oh my god, he's getting out. He's getting out. And a pork fish. Oh my god, pork and fish. And a pork fish. There. There's a hole in our trap. Hold on. There's a hole in the There's trap. There's a hole in our trap. There's a hole in the trap. Watch the rocks. That is. Is that a. Okay. That's one way to release them. Let me get That's one bucket. way to get him out. Let me get the bucket. Get the bucket, please. Let me get a bucket. How do I get this puffer fish? The last man standing. The puffer fish. What the heck? That's a green moray. Is it a green no, moray? No, it is. is two puffer fish right here. Take a look at this guy right here. You know, very I think they common. deserve to go back into the tide pool. Really? No. No, I want to let them go. Let me let them go. Very common, very common puffers. Goodbye, my friends. You guys have a great rest of your day. I hope they enjoyed all those shrimp. Turn Defense around, buddy. He's just puffed. Defense mechanism. Got Come on, on, dude. There he goes. That's how you do CPR. <laughs> it's a green moray, 100%. Are you sure? Yes. He's brown, though. He's probably brown. stressed. Let's get him in a bucket. He's got some gnarly teeth. All right, guys, take a look at this. We got it all under control here. We let those two puffers go. We got a freaking pork fish and a moray eel. I'm loving pork fish. I think pork fish are some of the coolest things we can catch here. Once again, I would love to get this guy in the pond, but we cannot put him in right now because pots and pans would smoke that pork fish, but that is the sickest fish you can catch here. Bright yellow, a little blue on him. Absolutely sick with those big black stripes on the, on the face. Should we take that? Love that. Should we take that green moray to my pond? That thing is crazy looking, bro. Oh my God, that thing's got crazy that teeth, thing. dude. That is that wild. That thing's got the craziest teeth I've ever seen. That is so Is he gonna wild. attack me if I try to grab I don't know, yeah. I have been bit. I have been bit. I wanna grab the porky, porky fish, dude. I know, the porky fish is dope, bro. I wouldn't do it. Dude. I wouldn't do it either, Fine. dude. I've been zapped, Just I've been tagged right here. So I don't warm, even think I, I don't think I have a scar from it, but I did get, oh no, right here, look at that little wackage. Can't really see it, but if you look close, I can say that I've been bit by a more eel. Now, in terms of the eel, guys, we've got many eels in the pond currently right now, and uh, we don't need another green moray. Jelly. Although it was a great fish. Nice looking dried out pancake here. Oh my God. It sucks to be a jelly, I'm telling you. That's but, one of the worst things that you could be in life is a jellyfish. 100% guaranteed. Never be a jelly. All right, buddy. See you later, alligator. Enjoy those freaking pilings again, That's sir. Sick. Like he's got to swim out. He's going to swim out there, All and right, believe it or not, the last time I was here, there is a a artificial reef right there of some sort because I threw my net four times and four out of the four times I snagged it on rock and then one time I snagged it on a huge freaking stick. So probably gonna vibe and chill out there. He's gonna love it. Look at this guy. This porky's- He's trying to beach himself. Seeming a little to be, look at that. Now we can actually get a good look at that porky. That is I wanna school wicked. those in the pond once we uh, remove pots and pans from the pond, rehome him. Wicked cool porky. Really cool porky. I actually caught a, I caught like a, a foot 
long pork, and like nine inch pork fish right over there on that other side on the piling. So these guys gotta be infested here. Get out of here, buddy. All right, there we have it. Trap number one has been pulled and it was a dang success. Now, will the other tide pool beat the first tide pool? We're about to find out. Now this one on the other hand, sitting a little weird. I don't think it fully sank all the way, which is uh, not ideal, but there's still a hole and there was some shrimp in there, so it's perfectly fine. The fish can still swim inside, but it didn't sink all the way, which is concerning, but that's okay. Very important. 80 pound line. Look at how sharp these freaking oysters are. If you're using like 20 pound line, this tide pool will freaking cut it like nobody's business. This is no damn joke. It's a floater. Waves coming in hard. Get her, Jack. Oh, ah. Ah. Here we nice. got one, baby. That's Hang it. on. Come here. Watch that rock. A one and done. It a was one the floating. And it was the floating. A one and done. God dang it, we messed up, dude. How did it float? I don't know. It was sinking gradually it all the way down. It was sinking. But look at this right here. Blue That's a freaking hog blue striper though. That is a hog of a blue striper. I don't Listen think it was Listen a fair fight. That's why they call them grunts. That is a beautiful looking fish. Look inside that mouth right there. Extremely, extremely red. Really, really pretty one though. One and done on that trap. The other one had what? Four fish total? Dude, it had way more. Was solid. All right, let's get this beautiful fish right here back in the water. Put him in the sun, bro. It's cool, yeah, let's look. There you have it. Saved from the tide pool. Saved. Enjoy your time here. Adios. Nope. Why they do they just, all love to swim right back to They all want to go to the beach. They all want to go to the beach. They all want to go to the beach. Come on, dude. There he goes. He's good. We were just testing the waters. I think the cold water has thrown off some of the fish here, I think for sure. But I think we need to redo double trap, same size and actually sink them to the bottom. Let same size. Let us know size. what you guys think. Keep it fair. Yeah, keep it fair down in the comments below. This is a test run. We're gonna do it again because of our pond that's getting redone. We can actually catch those giant blue parrots, those nice pork fish, and actually bring them back to the pond. I'm being way better than uh, bringing an eel back because we already have five eels. So we're gonna start with that and it's gonna look great once we can get that thing going. Remember to check out shopfishguy.com for your last minute Christmas gifts. I hope every single fish guy in the world has a nice fish guy package under their tree so you can rep fish guy all year long in 2024. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one. Peace.